and we're about ready to go. Steckel at center ice along with Odell. Puck down and game four is underway. And back beyond the net picked up by Jason Jaffrey at the captain. The 32-year-old Jaffrey working it back out high. A driving shot and a well O'Neill score. O'Neill blasting a slap shot just inside the blue line. High by the right shoulder of Brad Tuson. And with 15.49 to go in the opening period, St. John's for a second straight game in Norfolk has struck first. Will O'Neill, the second year defenseman out of the University of Maine. That is his first goal and fourth point in this series alone. Here's Morrissey, top of the ring, a shot, deflection, score! Another power play goal for the Ice Caps. Josh Morrissey with another point, although that one was clearly deflected, I believe, by Jason Jaffrey, the captain. 2 0, St. John's. Now, this Josh Morrissey, very involved in the offense, took a shot from the Upper end to the far ring. It hit a stick on the way. And it, looking at the replay, as I initially thought, it certainly did look like Jason Jaffrey was the man that got a piece of it. And save here against Manset again. Puck on the near side wall, and we've got a, another penalty. And now we're going to fight at center. And John Kurtz is going to go at it at center ice, dropping the gloves and throwing haymakers along with Will O'Neill. There's a big right to the body from Kurtz. Comes up by the head of O'Neill. O'Neill staggered for a moment, stays on his skates, trying to battle his way back, now ducking his head down as Kurtz keeps trying to connect. An uppercut to the body by Kurtz. Both guys growing tired, and the line's going to quickly jump in. Pretty good little tilt there between John Kurtz and Will O'Neill. Well, as I said at the top of the broadcast, Without Zach Stortini in the lineup tonight, the Antles certainly do miss their bona fide heavyweight. But you put John Kurtz back in, and you've still got a guy pound for pound, about as tough as they come in the AHL. In fact, speaking of those Antles scratches, let me run them down for you now. Matt Clark remains out with an injury as well. Antoine Lagadier suffering an upper body injury in the final game of the Manchester series, out for all of this series at least. He's also injured, and the Antlers have a number of healthy players as scratches tonight. They are Steve Whitney, Charlie Soro, Radislav Elo, Joseph Cramarosa, Jacob Megna, Norm Ezekiel, Kenton Helgeson, Kevin Gagne, and Zach Stortini. Front of the Nantna, shot by Edom gets blocked by Jordan Hill, who is shaken up. Hill staggering back, trying to get back on his skates and get off the ice as the puck is rushed ahead. And a shot from the right ring and a goal as your own Samson goes over the glove of Brad Thiessen. Top shelf for a third St. John's tally here tonight. This is a St. John's team that is unfazed playing on enemy ice. They have the third best road record in the AHL this year. Klingberg down the wing, cutting in front of the net. Gets grabbed by Perrin. Loose puck, a scramble puck batted, and is it in? They're celebrating. The red light's not come on, but I believe Terry Kaharski has signaled a goal. It looks like it was batted back behind Brad Tyson for a 4-0 St. John's lead. Well, you were mentioning about uh, the young goalie Gibson. He's very effective for Anaheim. And when he left here, you know, he's such a young guy and such a great goaltender. We're not knocking uh, Thiessen by any stretch of the imagination here. There's always six guys, five guys in front of him. And uh, that was just a scramble around the net. I mean, they, everybody in his, his dog was in front of that net there. I believe Eric O'Dell was the man that was able to flip it in. All kinds of traffic in front of the net. Brad Tisa yeah. had two St. John's ice caps on both sides of the goal crease. Puck taken by Lowry up to center ice by his bench and powered behind the Admiral goal. And Norfolk zips a pass ahead. Peterson down the wing. Andre Peterson, a shot score from the right wing. Andre Peterson has the Admirals on the scoreboard here in the second period. That's exactly what we needed with 11 minutes and 24 seconds remaining here in the second period, putting that puck in the net. It's going to inspire them, and uh, now they've closed the gap 4-1 to one in favor of the ice cap, and the Admirals are on the board. Very, very important. 
first goal of the series for Andre Peterson. And that's his third point for the Apples in the series. And for Peterson, it's also his first postseason goal with the Apples in eight games. From Scone tonight, this is game number four. Up ice, left side flank, shot by Jaffrey. Save made, rebound, dropped and tapped in at the side of the net for a fifth goal tonight. Jaffrey's shot was saved, but Thiessen could not hang on to the rebound. And it is knocked in for a fourth St. John's Ice Caps tally. Yeah, that is, uh, that is definitely not one that... Uh... Looked like, was that Eric Odell at the side of the net again? Looked like Odell reaching out, trying to tap it once, and in fact twice as we watch the replay. And Odell, who's actually behind the goal line, but reaching out with his stick, knocked it back beyond the right leg of Thiessen for another goal. Power play here in the closing seconds to end the game. Dave Steckel backhanding the puck back out along the blue line. Edom sends it across the ice, and the horn sounds as this one has come to an end. As St. John's is now within a victory of clinching this series. And the Atwells will have to play for their hockey lives tomorrow night in the hopes of extending this series and sending it back to Mile One Center in St. John's, Newfoundland. The Ice Caps jumped out with two in the first and rolled to a 5-1 win here tonight over the Norfolk Admirals. They lead the series three victories to one. Stay with